The epidermis can be divided into a number of sublayers, beginning with the stratum basal, the basal layer where epithelial cells are undergoing high levels of mitosis, and melanocytes are producing pigment. The second layer is the stratum spinosum. Here, cells are producing keratin, and they have melanin granules produced by the melanocytes. And this layer has the highest concentration of the dendritic cells, which function in the immune system. In the stratum granulosum, the process of keratinization begins where cells are beginning to die and have organelles such as their nuclei degenerate as they become flat bags of the protein keratin. At this point, they are too far to obtain nutrients from the blood vessels of the dermis for nutrition. The fourth layer, the stratum lucidum, only exists in thick skin. And by the time cells have reached the final layer, the stratum corneum, they are dead, flat cells without nuclei, which then are very effective in preventing water loss and protecting our bodies from invasion from the bacteria seeking water-filled, moist living cells because these are dry, dead cells. About 50,000 cells are shed per minute from the human body. Thus, dust contains a large number of human epithelial cells. And humans may lose 18 kilograms of epithelial cells being shed from the stratum corneum over the course of their lifetime.